everyone, welcome to Grace and Glory Homeschooling. My name is Michaela. I'm a homeschooling mom of 13 years to three kids. Today's video is going to be about math curriculum. I received so many requests to share some thoughts and views on homeschool math curriculum. So that's what we're gonna be diving into today. I have a bunch of points and I'm gonna to try to go through them as quickly as possible. But before I even get into the points, I just wanna tell you that um, number one, there's no perfect curriculum. And so um, it, you're not gonna find that. You are the teacher. I really encourage you to write down the goals that you have for your children to think about. Are you wanting to be common core aligned with what the public schools are doing? Are you wanting to be on track and accelerated with what the private schools are doing? Or are you okay with taking a homeschool path and being completely different and going at your own pace? So think about those goals and that will help you when you're choosing your math curriculum. Now, what if you, the teacher, are terrible at math? Well, that's me. When I first started homeschooling, I knew I was gonna run into some challenges. My husband is also bad at math. And um, you know what? We had to just trust in the Lord and depend on him to lead and guide us as we make our choices for all of our curriculum, for all of our children. Um, but he is faithful and he is just, and he always helps us. Um, and he never leaves us or forsakes us. So that is part of being on the Christian homeschool journey. Now I'm going to jump into the tips and um, share some of my thoughts and opinions on homeschool curriculum. Number one, even if you're terrible at math, you can get through kindergarten and first grade curriculum. It is super easy. Don't even worry about buying a huge box of curriculum or spending all kinds of money. Just work on introducing basic math. You can pick up um, workbooks like this one. Um, there's Star Wars math, Marvel math. This one was Pixar math. And um, this is second grade, but they have them for younger years too. Um, just get used to doing really, really simple um, work pages and having fun cartoon things. Um, you know, expose, introduce, don't expect them to master everything. Just make it fun. You do not want your kindergartner at the end of the year to be dreading school. So um, don't stress about math in the early years. By about third grade, some of the long division starts getting introduced and that's where things get a little bit more beefy. So that's when you will have to really start looking at a more formal curriculum, in my opinion. Tip number two. Math curriculum differs so, so much. The pace, the depth, the quantity, you are going to find so many different ways of approaching math. So I really encourage homeschoolers not to curriculum hop because your child will have gaps if you change your curriculum every single year. Um, it's really a detriment to the child because um, different concepts are introduced by different publishers at different times. They each have their own scope and sequence and they approach things differently. So if you start one way and then you switch it up and then you switch it up the next year, I learned this the hard way. Trust me, with my first daughter, um, she was terrible at math. She cried so much during math. I didn't know she was ever going to master her multiplication tables, um, which she's now in college and she has mastered them. <laughs> but it felt like forever. Um, and so I, I switched curriculums probably 12 times in her homeschool journey and I was crazy. I hired math tutors and I kept thinking that we were gonna find this magical solution for our math woes. And honestly, in hindsight, um, <laughs> we realized she's just not great at math and she's always going to be challenged in that subject, but it's okay because she does great and she excels at other subjects and God has gifted everyone differently. So um, by the time it came to my second son, he was good at math and it was a totally different ball game because of course God gives us these unique little persons and no matter how many kids you have, they're all a little bit different. So um, just know that the answer isn't always curriculum hopping. Sometimes it's just good to stick with the math and to help the child. Maybe you need to slow down the pace or maybe you need to accelerate the pace. Um, but there are a few curriculums that I absolutely um, discovered that I dislike them. I actually hate them. And so um, these are my opinions. This is my view. And I know that you may not agree with me, but that's okay. I just want to put this out there because if there's any questions about these publishers, they are very popular, but they did not work for us. And so I want to encourage you to do what works for you. Don't worry about what your neighbor next door is doing. Don't worry about what your whole entire co-op is doing. Sometimes you just need to find out what works for your child because that's 
part of the blessing of being um, private home educators. So uh, the first one is Matthew C. I know a lot of people love it, but I didn't like it. And my children totally didn't like listening to that guy on the videos. Number two, uh, Singapore math. I was so confused by it and my children were super confused by it. So we did not like that one either. Um, third, Saxon math. I have like PTSD memories because I was a homeschooler myself and I remember being a ninth grader sitting down at the kitchen table with my algebra Saxon um, textbook and I was bawling, crying actual tears because I was so frustrated and so um, overwhelmed because I didn't understand the math. And uh, my mom hired me a very sweet and kind and patient dad to be a math tutor. And no matter how he explained it to me, I still didn't get it. And so I actually did better when I got to geometry, but I just, I had a terrible time. I barely passed with like a C in math. And so uh, now if I see a Saxon math textbook, I will not touch it. It will not come into my household. And so I just want to encourage you just because someone else is doing it. If you look at it and you go, oh, absolutely not. There's no reason to bring it in because if you're not going to be excited about it, it's going to be really hard to get your kids excited about it. So do what works for you. The next tip is don't be afraid to outsource your math. It's the 21st century. Homeschoolers have so many options in this time. Um, for many years, we used teachingtextbooks.com, which actually wasn't a textbook at all. It was an online program. And there was auditory and visual elements and games and reviews all built in. And it was wonderful, especially when I was pregnant with my third child. I was on bed rest and there was no way that my brain could handle math. And so that was a real blessing to be able to utilize teaching textbooks online. Um, they have placement tests that you can look at and to see where your child should fall. It's a little bit gentle. And so I would say, um, don't be afraid to bump your child up a level if you think that they need a little bit more of a challenge. Um, there's also easy peasy math. There's a lot of games and reviews built into that. And that's another gentle math, um, but it's something that it takes it off your plate. So that's something that you can consider and don't feel guilty about doing it. <laughs> The next one, if your um, child is um, really great in math, if they have a mathy brain and they need to be challenged and you're looking for a more rigorous curriculum, then definitely check out Abeka or Christian Light Education. Those are spiral-based math. math. They move at an accelerated pace and they are definitely much more rigorous. You'll be at least a full grade ahead of the public schools when you go with either Abeka or Christian Light Education. Now, on the opposite side, if your child is really struggling or if you're a first time homeschooler and you're afraid of struggling, maybe you wanna ensure that you have smooth and easy days, then you definitely wanna check out Masterbooks because they're a very, very gentle, slower pace. I usually recommend them for first time homeschoolers. Now, you have to keep in mind that they are a total homeschool path. So if you're trying homeschool, but you know that you're gonna go back to public school soon, you would not want to use Masterbooks because you're child would then veer way off in a different direction and you need to go with something more like Evan Moore workbooks or something that's common core aligned so they could easily transition back to school. But um, if you know you're going to be on the homeschool path for many, many years and you're going to take things slow and you want to go easy, then Masterbooks might be a way for you. Um, it has stories and so it's a little bit like taking the scenic route, um, but I know some people that use it and love it. So that's something to also consider. Another one I want to bring up is Bob Jones University Math, BJU Press. I have used this with my third born for kindergarten, first and second grade. Um, I used it myself K through eighth grade. Um, it is a mastery based curriculum and um, they have workbooks so you can do it parent led or you can take the workbooks and do it on um, video based learning. So the teacher, um, like there's a math teacher that teaches out of a studio using props and stories and all kind of interactive lessons to teach the math for you. It's pretty pricey, but the teachers are great. I've met them in person and I've talked to multiple of them and they're really gifted and knowledgeable and professional in their fields from the university. So um, they're definitely trusted. 
The thing you have to think about with Bob Jones University is it was made for traditional private schools. And so you're going to have workbook pages that the front page was meant for classwork and the backside was meant for homework. So every day, five days a week, there's gonna be a front and a back page. And um, sometimes that's too much. Honestly, my son couldn't make it through both pages sometimes as a busy boy. And so if he got the concepts, I didn't make him do the backside. Um, also, I mean, it's a good thing they have these hefty, thick teacher's manuals with Bob Jones University if you're doing parent-led and there are game suggestions and um, all kinds of activities for visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners. I mean, they cover the full gamut, but um, it's a lot. And so you really need to pick and choose and try and see, you know, how much time do I want to use on math every day? Um, so that's just something to consider, but it's very thorough and um, you will still be at a good pace, not quite as fast paced as a Becca or Christian Light, but still faster than some of the other homeschool publishing um, companies that are around. So that's something to consider, um, but still make it work for you because that's what we've been doing. Lastly, I want to mention a Charlotte Mason map because Charlotte Mason homeschooling is dear to my heart. This is by Simply Charlotte Mason. This is the Elementary Arithmetic Series. These are beautiful hardbound books. These are for mom to use and um, there's multiple books in the series. They're black and white and there's going to be games and exercises, um, mental math and rapid oral work, different kinds of games that you're going to do um, using like dominoes and counting beans. And so um, this is something that can really be great practice. Um, it could be a supplement. Um, I know some people that use it as their full curriculum. For me, I don't think it's quite enough. <coughs> Excuse me, I think you need a little workbook to go with it. Um, but that's something to where you could pair something like this, you know, get a Costco book um, with this. Um, and that kind of makes the best of both worlds if that's something that you're interested in. Um, the mental math exercises really challenged my son. I, I quickly, with my third born, realized, wow, mental math, it's hard for him. But you know what? That's something that he can learn and develop because the Charlotte Mason education is about the richness and the deepness of um, making those connections in education. So if you have any questions, I couldn't mention all the different um, homeschool curriculums, of course, but feel free to leave the comments down below and I would be happy to answer them. I hope you have a blessed day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.